Today I want to show you an Air application called the Air iPhone. Air stands for Adobe Integrated Runtime. It's a product Adobe has created that allows developers to deploy Flex, Flash, JavaScript, and HTML applications to the desktop. So the Air iPhone duplicates the functionality of the real iPhone, built in Adobe Flex and deployed with Adobe Air. So let's get started. I've already launched the application and it's sitting on my desktop. By unlocking the Air iPhone, we're taken to the Springboard screen that has all of the iPhone applications. Let's take a look at a few of these applications. We have a weather application that is pulling in some real-time weather web services. This allows you to type in a zip code and it will retrieve the current weather. This is also being saved behind the scenes inside of a settings file so when you reopen the application it's all remembered. We also have an application here that is used to connect the VoIP functionality of the phone. It's a service called Ribbit. Now I'm just going to log in so I can use these features in just a few minutes. Okay, we're all logged in. Let's go back to the Springboard screen. We also have the main apps as well. For instance, the iPod application. This has a simulated list of music that has the same type of scrolling functionality found on the real iPhone. Also, by rotating the Air iPhone, you can create the CoverFlow navigation that is also very similar to the iPhone as well. Let's hop back out. We also have a browser application that is a real working browser, utilizing the web control inside of the Air runtime. I can type in a new URL, Google and that site loads. I can also rotate the Air iPhone for a more landscape view. I could even type in a search and that results comes back. We also have a mail application that has a simulated email screen. And as you recall I've already logged into the Rivet service, so the phone portion of the application is fully functional. As you can see, I have a list of contacts. I can select a person. I could even click on this to call this person. That's my real phone ringing in the background that I just called. I could even edit this person and I can even add new contacts as well. There's a fully functional keypad so I can make calls. And we also have visual voicemail. I can scroll down and click on a message. I could also call that person back or I could delete this message. And I also could listen to and record a new greeting. And as with the real iPhone, if you do receive a call, the calling screen will appear. And now I have the ability to decline or answer this call. So this concludes a quick demo of the Air iPhone.